everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. I'm a Nick Bay, and in the last one, I said we needed to go here because we made an old man cry and scream and run away. And now we have fun stuff to do. Excuse me, ma'am. What can I do for you, young man? Hmm. Yeah. This is kind of a strange place for a school. This isn't your average school, dearie. This is the Ozymandrill Pirate Transmogrification Center. Uh, Transmogrification? Transmogrification. We take barbaric, foul-smelling pirates, like yourself, and transform them into prim, productive, and polite members of the emerging consumer-based economy. D -d That's the most nefariously evil thing I've ever heard. Oh, now, now, sweetie. Don't knock it till you've tried it. All right, as much as I hate making Guybrush say it. I'm tired of being a slimy pirate. Sign me up. We have to. Wonderful. Just go in and take a seat, and you'll soon be on your way to a brighter tomorrow. Good afternoon, class. My name is Miss Rivers, and I'd like to welcome you to Ozymandrill's Pirate Transmogrification Academy, a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrill Enterprises. This Just one's going to be mostly cutscene. Sorry, door, guys. You've already taken a courageous first step in a journey. A journey that will transform you from swashbuckling pirates into healthy, normal, and most of all, productive members of society. And why have you made this step? Because we don't have a choice. No, dear. You've come here because you're scum-sucking pirates who deserve to be dragged into the street and shot like the dogs you are! Yikes. Now then, for the next few hours, we'll be breaking down your anti-social pirate defense mechanisms and replacing them with more acceptable, marketable, behavioral traits. This could take a while. Why don't you come back later? First, Thank you, let's have a frank talk about pillaging. And that's why keel hauling is bad. Very nice, young man. Oh, keel hauling is such a nasty, nasty now, punishment. Class, let's move along to your final exam. Three questions that will account for 90% of your grade. That doesn't seem fair. Don't get smart with me, Sonny. Sorry, ma'am. Let's begin, young man. Yes, ma'am. A stranger approaches you and asks for the time. How do you respond? I politely give the stranger the correct time and point him in the direction of a watch shop. Good. Now then, Guybrush. Yes, Miss Rivers? While reading a book of poetry in the library, what appears to be a treasure map falls out of the book. What's your plan of action? Now, what we gotta do here is we have to pick the obviously most wrong answer. So, out of all these... Um... There we go. I hunt down and kill everyone who's ever checked out the book. Then, after I kill their families, their friends, and their pets, I seek out the treasure. Arr. There you go! Jumpin' Jehoshaphat! Ooh, you're gonna get it. Um, Miss Rivers! Guy brush is scaring me. Now, Mungo. Yes? What's in your mouth, young man? Pirate spitting tobacco, ma'am. Did you bring enough for everyone? Actually, yes. Well, that's hardly the point, young man. We don't allow pirate paraphernalia in this classroom. Hand it to me. Ew. Sorry, ma'am. Miss Rivers is disgusting. Alright, this is important. Anything that might be considered pirate well, paraphernalia then, goes in that box. Yes, ma'am? While delivering Christmas toys to orphans on a nearby island, you notice a passing ship that's obviously taken on too much cargo. What do you do? A sail by, resisting the urge to attack? I see. Okay, second question. Guybrush? Ooh, yes. my turn again. Your captain has plotted a course directly through the heart of the Devil's Triangle. How do you react? Okay, uh, mutiny. 
No. Maybe this one. Oh, jeez. Mutiny or blood sacrifice. Mutiny or blood sacrifice. Um... Organizing sounds too unpiratey, so we're gonna go with this. To appease the gods of the triangle, I make a blood sacrifice of the cabin boy. Yup and yiminy! Miss Rivers, I'm feeling sick to my stomach. I think that might have been the right one. Mungo. Yes, sir? After drinking too much grog, a friend of 20 years teases you about your haircut. What is your reaction? I, uh, I make a joke about the expanding size of his grog belly. Good. And Yanya? Yes, Miss Rivers. A scruffy looking stranger offers you a grog. What's your response? I politely but firmly decline his offer. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. Now for the third and final question. Here we go. Mungo. Yes, ma'am? You see a man accosting another with a sword. What do you do? I run the attacker through with my trusty sword, Winnie. Ah. Now, Yanya. Yes, ma'am. A member of the opposite sex rebuffs your advances. How do you cope? I chalk it up as a learning experience and move on. Good. And finally, Mr. Threepwood. Here we go. Yes? Your tofu burger is delivered medium well, despite your explicit request for medium rare. How do you react? How would you even know if it's to tofu? Uh, let's see. Mm, I'm thinking this one. I burn the restaurant to the ground and string the chef up by his kidneys. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Miss Rivers, Guybrush is hampering my ability to learn. Well, I've added up all your scores, and I must say that I'm very unhappy. Mungo, I'm afraid you didn't pass. Your heart's in the right place, dear, but your brain is somewhere cold and dark and covered with spiders. Ew. Oh. Ha! Yanya, I'm flunking you, too. Why? I got every answer right! Yes, dear, but your attitude sucks. This is horribly unfair. So's life, sweetie. Get used to it. And then we have Guybrush. Guybrush, Guybrush, Guybrush. I've been teaching this course for months, and I can safely say... ...that you're the single worst student I've ever met. I've picked lint out of my belly button with more learning potential than you. Yay, we did it! Now, in order to guarantee that you never darken my school's doorstep again, and to stigmatize you for the rest of your hopefully short life, I'm strapping this dunce cap to your stubborn pirate head in the hopes that humiliation will succeed where education failed. Now get out of my classroom and never return! Yeah, I may be a dunce, but at least I'm a mighty pirate dunce. Yay! Oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoops. 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 Leave. Whoops. Alright. We do need to go back in there eventually, but not yet. What we need to do first is pull this. Never try this at home, boys and girls. False Good advice, guy Fire! Fire! Everyone run for your lives! Ha, <laughs> stupid bitch. Okay, guy rush, come on, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Come on! I hope I can get this on the first try. Yes! Oh my god, that took forever. Uh, pick up whistle. Put it away. Gotcha! Damn. Thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Yep. Um, sure did. Get out! Damn. Now I remember why I dropped out of school. 
Well, that was fun. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been Nick Bane, and I'll see you next time. Bye.